I gotta make a video on this one. So this board was sent to a repair shop. Somebody that does this as a business, somebody that advertises logic board repairs as a service. Um, this was sent to a logic board repair business for them to repair a uh, a searching no signal issue. And whenever the customer got the board back, they not only had searching no signal, but they also had no phone. And that thing won't power on. It, it's no power. So let me make sure my camera's recording. It is. So, customer sent this in for no service, got it back with no power. They're asking me, is there any way I can get the data off of it? Um, I'm going to switch you over to the microscope view here. And you can have a look at what I'm looking at. This is my first look under the microscope. I have not looked at this board yet under the microscope. Let me get my lenses set. These people... Look, they actually... You see that shield that, you know, this is the bottom, this is the bottom shield on the, oh yeah, that's the top one. That one's a motherfucker to take off. So they couldn't get it to come off. Anyways, okay, back to this board. And just, you know, one little dude like that, I don't know what that is yet, we're going to find out. One little dude like that, that's... You know, th that's enough to keep a phone from powering on. Short to ground somewhere. I told the customer I cannot fix their no signal, no service issue. And they're okay with that. They just, you know, they want this phone to come on. I think it's data that they're after. So, this company had a really hard time here taking the shield off, so they wound up knocking some shit out of the way. Um... Yeah, they had a really hard time. They pulled on this hard. What I'm picking at is this, this is a little ground pad here. It was actually ripped up from the board. Let's have a look at the other side. Ugh! What the fuck did they do to this board? I wonder if they told their customer, yeah, we can try to fix it, but there's a 99% chance we're just going to fucking kill it. advertising board repair. You know, you can be a beginner and not do this shit to people's boards. So right now I'm looking for things that will prevent this phone from powering on. Now aside from all the flux and, and, and burnt garbage on this board, you know, there can be any bit of conductive material that falls between the right two contacts and change the properties on on something change the resistance values of something just far enough for it to do nothing so um, let's have a look over here at ZXW tool I want to find out I know we've got this little dude here knocked off of there now I'm not hooking power to this board just yet I'm gonna you know have a good going over here and and look at it pretty good. So let's get let's get an iPhone 6 opened up here. I think I'm about to have to renew my ZXW subscription. Only it is a royal pain in my ass. I to it's a royal pain in my ass to figure out um, what. Who I pay or what, who to give my money to? See, it's all in Chinese, and everybody tells me, "Well, just use Google Translate." Well, I have. I, you know, I'll get an error message on the screen, and it's like, "What's that say?" And I'll try to read it, and it still makes no fucking sense whatsoever, even with Google Translate. So, anybody want to place any bets that this software is going to crash? I've never seen it do that. Well, let's switch back over to the microscope. Huh. Try 
try again. Like, oh, so this is what they mean by no clean flux. Why don't we just why don't we just dip the board in it? We are definitely doing something there. Well, that's going to be a capacitor, and it's probably okay. See my ZXW is loaded now. It loaded, but it didn't load the iPhone 6. I say iPhone 6. I'm going to bet that's server problems. Uh -huh. Okay. I do have PDFs of all these schematics too, but all right, we're back over to the microscope here. I'm going to check for a short to ground between this guy and here. We have no short. Wait. It'd help if I turn my multimeter to beep mode. Yeah, we're shorted to ground here, and this it's not supposed to be. I mean, this pad this is going to be a capacitor. This pad here is ground. This pad here is not supposed to be ground. ZXW just finished crashing. Okay, so let's do that the old-fashioned way. Fuck ZXW tool. That thing... I have most all of these schematics. Well, the ones that I use on a daily basis in PDF. Uh, C1418. So let's open up another schematic. Look, VCC main. There's C1418. I'm going to start warming this board up. Pull out my logic board. Repair vice, my Omni vice. It's a univice, a universal vice. It will work. This works to mount anything to anything. It doesn't have to be shaped right. All right, so let's do a little work on this board, shall we? Get a plan of attack here. I wonder if I can just get my okay, looks all right. A terrible example I'm setting using hot air on that. Okay. Do we still have a short to ground on VCC main? The left side of that cap on this view is ground is VCC main, the right side's ground. VCC main. 
It's still short of the ground, can you believe that? Where are we going to find VCC main shorted to ground? All right, we're going to do this the old fashioned way. I'm getting out my test probes here. Let's use one on my positive. I'm gonna use a clamp for my negative. All right, this is what I'm doing. I'm taking my clamp probe here. I'm gonna set my power supply on um, three volts. And then I'm going to take my other one, which is my homemade probe. Hey, don't laugh. All right, you should have the microscope back now. I'm going to put power into VCC mains. The board cooled off. Eh, we better wait for the board to cool a little more here. All right, so we're going to use C1417. I'm going to hook on to... Shit, I didn't mean to hit that camera. I'm going to hook on to um, VCC main here at C1417. There we go. Yeah, VCC main comes off the top of that, goes under that IC. All right, so we're going to hook up VCC main there, and I'm hunting for heat. Okay, this is going to be on the other side of the board. My load there is 5 amps, by the way, so we've got a crazy dead short to ground on VCC main. wonder if it could be that obviously fucked cap down there at the bottom. It's sit right there in the middle of my screen. What's that one? Just to the bottom of the left, C1411. Also on VCC main. Let's get rid of C1411, shall we? Well, you know what? It's on VCC main. That's the one. See it smoking? Five amps is just about enough to make any one of these little bastards smoke. This is probably going to be welded to the board. Can you see what I'm doing? Yeah. Let's get rid of him. Okay. Are you still shorted? Yeah, 
Nope, my short to ground is gone. No more short to ground on VCC main. That is that is one of the string of caps here. We can live without one of those. Okay, let me grab a, uh, a test housing here. Yeah, I call this heartless because they couldn't fix the service issue. They knew they pretty well trashed this board. Excuse me, well, in their, their mind, they trashed this board. So they sent it back as a no fix, and these people... don't fit in the housing right these people are just after their data there's a screw line in my housing see with the back shield off of this that could have been a disaster um, that could have went bad I would have broke something had I pushed on that board all right I'm going to give you the wide view here with all my burnt spots. Plug in a screen. Get me some different probes on my power supply. I'm setting my power supply to 4 volts. And I'm going to hook my power supply up to the battery line, and hopefully we don't get smoke and fire. All right. Zero amps. That's what I like to see. Now I'm going to push the power button. 100 milliamps. 200 milliamps. We've got an Apple logo, and then it shut off. Six hundred milliamps, three quarters of an amp. Ooh, one and a half amps. Lock screen. Do we have working touch? We have working touch. This is going to be a happy customer. I'm going to go ahead and slide the power off. Hundred milliamps. Zero amps. We are off. Okay, so the next step from here, while this phone runs, is running now, I'm going to go ahead and do an iTunes backup. Um, as you've seen there, this phone don't have a passcode, so the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is an iTunes backup on this phone, something that I can restore to another phone if this thing decides to take a complete total shit after I ultrasonic clean it, because I am not going to send this back to the customer looking like that. This board looks like complete, total, I'm, I, they advertise this as a service, like a professional service. And this is what they did to their customer's board. I don't know the name of the, the company that did this. If I did, I probably would not tell you. Um, but anyway, this is a, a successful data recovery. Um, really a super duper easy data recovery. At first glance, it was like, oh, and I thought I was going to probably get into a really long, drawn-out video to fix this one. But as it turns out, uh, even though it had some shit knocked to the side, that was not the source of the no power situation here. This was just a capacitor on VCC main shorted to ground. Watch this thing work after I'm done with it and get service and this customer be completely happy. That'll, that'll be fucking great. Um, so anyways, that's it for this video. Um, I'm going to do a iTunes backup on this, ultrasonic clean it, and send the customer your repair is complete. They're going to be, be, be happy to hear it. So um, I hope all you have successful repairs and thank you for watching.